Hi everyone. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Archana. Good morning, Anish. Good morning, Dipesh, Nanju, Prasamsa, Ritiz. Good morning, Ronim, Salina, Sarisma. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Okay. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. From today, we are going to start our learning outcome four, that is re returns and risk. Okay, and this is this chapter is also a really interesting one uh, because uh, this can be relatable to practical life when we are going to invest in any aspect, uh, any any areas like share market or commodity market how much risk you are going to bear, that kind of things we are going to discuss today. Okay, so we'll be starting our session on uh, today. Uh, uh, I have Okay, so I'm going to share you one very, very interesting article from Economist. And for your benefit, I'm going to share that in iLearn as well. First of all, let me uh, share the file here itself, okay? So let me share my screen. It must be visible, right? Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, a survey done by Economist magazine in 2001, January 25th. And some of you, I, I would not expect most of you, but some of you might know that uh, there was a recession going on in 2001 after a big bubble of share market like today's share market is going uh, today's share market all around the world is going through bubble um, indian sensex uh, new york stock exchange is 22 years high indian sensex has doubled right and nepalese stock exchange has increased more than one one and a half times right it's about 2800 so after the bubble burst there were a lot of questions which was asked by shareholders by the investors and a lot of people lost their money now the true questions to the finance person would be that if you are going to invest which which shares you want to invest or how would you want to increase the share value of the company so given the fact that market risk right given the fact that there is all there are always market risks which you need to cover out of your return right and there is one policy uh, one rule of thumb you should always Keep that in mind and that is that higher the risk higher the return isn't it lower the risk lower the return and in that case you can always compare between bitcoin and um, fd which we uh, which banks provides us right lowest risk fixed deposit highest risk bitcoin or um, cryptocurrencies or commodity market which has highly volatile market right so this article highlights exactly the case what might happen when bubble bursts and what is the uh, what kind of risk you might take how can you calculate your value those kind of thing, things are touched by this article and very practical article indeed it is uh, covering uh, yes it is covering the uh, highlight of 2001 right when bubble were bursted there was a um, a terrorist attack a terrorist attack happened in united states right what was the date please help me out anyone al qaeda hit uh, world trade center right you are not audible arsana 9 11 
what was the year? Do you remember the year? Uh, as far as I remember, there was two recessions which went on uh, in US exchange, US stock exchange recently. One was 2008 crash, and the next was when Al Qaeda hit that World Trade Center. Let me Google it. Anyone help me? Help me out. You might be good at. That's 2001, 9-11. Okay, it was uh, 2001, 9-11, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so at that time as well, uh, there was a huge recession which went to US economy. Like always, please remember, like um, United States, when it went to war, it had to allocate its huge, it's like a company. The country is also like a company. And when company increases its expenditure, rather than uh, buying certain assets. Please note it, whenever company goes to spend in expenditure rather than assets, there is a high chance that the economy will collapse or economy will go down. Uh, likewise, in our country as well, you can see that 88% of expenditure are done in revenue expenditure. 12, 15, 20% of budget is allocated only on capital expenditure. That is why we stay the place where we are, right? So uh, moving on, like company, right? If company wants to invest in assets, which are, which will definitely generate revenue in upcoming times, then company will grow in upcoming times, right? Because revenue inflow of revenue starts to happen. But if company expend, um, a company does expenditure rather than spending an asset, similar thing happened in US as well. When terrorist attack happened, now us had to spend huge amount of money in its military military is something which is not going to give them revenue as a country right so they had to uh, now go in war with iraq no not iraq i think afghanistan right afghanistan pakistan and um, terrorists so as a company or as an entity us also had to uh, divert its funds like company does so they did they did not spend in assets so what happened economy went down and usually when economy goes down, share market, the share market's bubble definitely bursts. So you might ask that sort of now um, there is there is coronavirus all around the world. Uh, economy is down. Economy of India, New York, um, India, New York, uh, US and uh, Nepal all are in, in on the floor. But still, share market is going up. Now it's a bubble. It is going to burst uh, any time. But um, the logic of uh, economy and uh, logic of increment in share market is somewhat directly proportional, I would say. So uh, let me read this article and uh, as our rule, first I'll read the article. Second, I'll ask you uh, questions, any inputs you might give to the class. And finally, I would uh, definitely tell you what are the things which needs to be done. And this chapter also brings, uh, will bring a little bit warm up to us for our risk and return chapter. Okay, it is kind of uh, eagle's eye view. Okay, so shall I move forward? Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, shareholders value, shareholder value, January 25th, 2001, Economist print edition, research tool survey. How can you tell what is what a company is worth? Um, please note that if you are investors of stock exchange as well, uh, this article will help you because um, it will help you to gauge what might be the value of certain stock. Okay, so it is painfully clear by now that at least one part of America's stock exchange and same bit in Europe, Japan, and just about anywhere else was rather generously valued until the first few months of last year. Shares in TMT, technology, media, and telecoms. That paradigm shifting blockbuster sector have fallen spectacularly. Microsoft, Lucent, Dell, Intel, Toshiba, NEC, to name but a few, all have seen their share prices drop through the floor. NASDAQ took a block with technical wizardry, which has racked up gains of 85% in 1999, had a rather less joyous experience last year. It fell by 39% over the year and by 51% by from its high in March. Don't even ask about internet shares, which have plunged. 
and index of internet compiled by Goldman Sachs has fallen by 75% since March of last year. Companies such as Pets.com, Boo.com and all two, many others have had to close their virtual doors. Hopefully there is another internet company outspokenly entitled FoxCompany.com that lists many of those who that have gone out of business or are having severe difficulties. A few lo of lucky few have managed to raise new cash, but many of these have become less virtual in process. Amazon discovered that it had to build more warehouses. Britain's lastminute.com offensively packa packaged online travel agency with paltry revenues and a drooping surprise is to send out brochures. So now this is uh, the graph of NASDAQ Composite Index, uh, which was released by Goldman Sachs. Now I'll read one page and other two pages you go through on your own. We'll discuss about only first page, okay? For all the recent hype about shareholders value, almost, now please note this, for all the recent hype about shareholders value, almost no value of shareholders has been created by pure internet companies, except for the lucky few who managed to get out in time. More fundamentally, for all corporate finance theorists, effort to find a rigorous method of pricing equity, such attempts seem to have failed, or there would have been no bubble. And now there are worries that the TMT bubble may be distorted the way in which older companies have organized their balance sheets. Technological innovation has always encouraged the formation of bubbles of phenomenon that has been charted, charted by Robert Siller, an American economist in a recent book, Irrational Exuberance, Princeton University, page 2000. At the turn of 20th century, the stock market was transfixed by new technology. Guglielmo Marconi made the first transatlantic radio transmission in 1901. There were predictions that we would soon be in radio communication with the planet Mars, writes Mr. Seller. Stock market rose to even greater heights. So, okay, uh, there are three pages in this article. I have highlighted for your benefit, um, highlighted with purple mark for your benefit. Please go through it. You'll understand exactly uh, how to value uh, shares or what are the uh, questions or critical thinking process uh, which are asked while finding the value of the company. Today uh, in the class, we are discussing only about first page. Okay, what are the information we gathered because three pages will be quite long and we need, we have to cover a lot of contents today. Okay, so uh, let me ask uh, today, uh, let me ask you, what are the noteworthy things you got from this article? I think now uh, we have got a little bit habituated about reading articles, right? So request you to chip in any ideas you have in your mind. Please let me know. I'm waiting for a, for your uh, question uh, for your inputs. Anything you observed? Anything noteworthy? Something? Yeah, I think it's visible, right? Okay. Okay, we have only thirteen participants till seven fifteen. So please uh, chip in your ideas, Alex, Archana, Asis, Deepesh, Ninju, I'm waiting for you. Anything you observed? Still waiting for you. Oh. 
Yes. The last year price fell uh, from in uh, thirty nine percent over this year. Banera Panasanta. I think that is a point to be noted. So, Arsman, you might have a little bit audio issues, but what I hear from the fact, a little bit of what I heard you, you told that uh, about 39 percent, right? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. So one input is that. 39% decrement and 51% uh, increment high in March. So uh, we we can understand uh, like what Orchana was trying to say. Uh, let me explain to class. Like the market is volatile. Like it fell by 39% over a year. Within one year, 39%. And again, it rose to 51%, right? So from this indication, we can understand that this year was whole lot of sensitive market right it, it was going up it was going down right so that is one wonderful input okay so anyone must have chip in ideas everything is in front of you then also i'm not getting answers It must be um, it must be really interesting you know like whatever you study in the class you can just go up like uh, after the end of the class you can discuss with your friends or discuss with other people you know very relevant uh, concept i'm trying to uh, relate whatever is happening around contemporary issues and to our um, whatever we are studying so that it feels like you are updating yourself in real world and if you participate uh, you're it will be really easy. Uh, this uh, stocks for internet has fallen on uh, 70%, 75% uh, one I think that yeah. is an important input. Yeah. So internet shares, internet shares has fallen, has fallen by more than 75 percent thank you so much for that wonderful input now what does it mean internet shares have fallen by more than 75 percent it means that now this is not about uh, this uh, let me correct myself this bubble burst was not due to terrorist attack of 9 11 but it was due to uh, dot com companies bubble burst like uh, what happened was in 1990s end of 1990s um, companies like Microsoft and uh, these Dell, uh, Dell and a lot of internet come. Internet was discovered right before 1990s, I would say. And when um, the dot-com companies came in rise in these 1990s, and while they came in rise, it went, uh, it went to moon, and uh, it went so much high that it had to burst anyway, right? So this was the time where everything got bursted. And why internet companies fall by 75 percent? Because it went up the most, right? That was the time of internet. So now imagine if you were a shareholder where uh, you bought at the peak, then what would happen? If you had owned 100 rupees, then you'd get 25 rupees at the end of uh, 2001, um, at the end of this article, January 25th, 2001, within six months or one year, right? So you have to be very uh, vigilant in um, trying uh, in investing otherwise you have to know how much risk you have right otherwise your money will might be uh, equal to zero so anyone any other input regarding this article i'm going to share this in i i learn as well uh, for your future benefit in the future maybe you you might feel that uh, I, we have all the contacts available in our own finance class so how about rather than doing research i'll go to buy go back to my materials and find out those values practically so i will definitely share this uh, okay so let me explain you myself so so 
So everyone, please participate. I have today only Orsena is participating. I request everyone to participate. At least tell your thought, tell your mind. Okay. So is it painfully clear by now? At least one part of America's stock market and the same bit in Europe, Japan, and just about anywhere else was rather generously valued until the first few months of last year. Please note that stock market of U U.S. was like falling down, right? Likewise, same bit was happening in Europe, Japan, and anywhere else. So there are high chances that since we are into globalized economy, if one market crashes, right? lot of other countries will face the heat right so um, you might have observed that there was a trade war going on between china and america us right at those times stocks were plunging down so although um, one stock exchange is independent of other there is high chance that um, nowadays due to globalization one um, economy of one country affects others so moving on was rather than until the few months of last year. Shares in TMT. TMT means technology, media, and telecoms. The paradigm shifting blockbuster sector have fallen spectacularly. The bubble was created. They went to the uh, to the moon and then they had to fall down. Microsoft, Lucent, Dell, Intel, Toshiba, NEC, to name but a few, all have seen their share prices drop through the floor. Nasdaq took a block in technical wizardry, which has racked up gains of 85% in 1999. In one year, it gained 85%. In one year, it gained 85%, right? And had a less joyous experience last year. And it fell by 39% last year and 51% from its high in March, right? So moving on, don't even ask about internet shares, which have plunged. An index of internet companies compiled by Goldman Sachs has fallen by 75% since March of last year. Goldman Sachs has made a bag of internet companies means index means a bag where we put certain shares for example if i have to put uh, in a bag the telecom shares what what i would do i would put nepal telecom although ncl is not in um ncl's if you ncl is not public uh, there are news that ncl is going to go public as soon as possible so if ncl was public in that bag there would be ncl as well smart cell ncl ntc those will be in one bag and that bag is called index Likewise, Goldman Sachs prepared an index of internet companies and that whole index means all telecom sector was going down. Likewise, all internet stocks of US was going down and internet stock compiled by Goldman Sachs has fallen by 75% since March of last year. Companies such as now come, there are a few things about companies like Pets.com, Boo.com, they closed their business. Oh, helpfully, there is there was one site called foggedcompany.com and you could go to that site and you could see number of companies which were going into bankruptcy right so there was a fashion that company were closing like there was a fashion in dot com bubble that uh, companies were mushrooming right and uh, after the bubble burst com all companies which were in bankruptcy and those lists would be uh, was provided by foggedcompany.com and it was a popular website back then that list many of those have gone out of business or in severe difficulties a few a lucky few had managed to raise cash, but many of these have become less fortunate in the process. Now, Amazon discovered that it had to build more warehouses, like it could not survive only through internet, right? Amazon discovered that they had to go, they had to build their physical warehouse as well. So this was it. Moving on for all the now, this one is the most important part um, because of which I shared you this article. Please read it one by one. For all the recent hype about shareholders' value, almost no value for shareholders has been created by pure internet companies, except for lucky few who managed to get out of it. What does it mean? This is very, very important line, you know, whenever you are gauging, uh, you want to know about shareholders' value. What happened was most of the internet companies at, at those times they did not give dividend to shareholders right they were always loss making companies and they usually are loss making companies okay and as they were uh, loss making companies what happened was their uh, as their price was booming right so whoever was purchasing the stock at 150 dollars they were expecting that the market is going to rise and it will reach to 200 so that they will sell that stock and 
gain capital gain rather than they will hold the share and get dividend out of it and those who bought the share at high what happened was share market plummet and they neither got capital gain right they had to bear loss and neither they got any dividend so this means that for all the recent high powered shareholder value almost no value for shareholders has been created by pure hinton companies shareholder did not were empty except for lucky few who managed to get out of it in that peak there were of course certain rational investors prudent investors who knew that maybe bubble might bubble is going to happen or who understood that this is my required rate of return i don't need any profit beyond it so they exited from the market at that peak so those were the only gainers of these internet companies rather than that no any shareholders got any from the to find this theories efforts to find rigorous method of pricing equity such attempts seem to have failed or they or there would have been no bubble and now there are worries that tmt bubble may be destroyed in which companies have organized their balances so yeah the ceos they play with we studied in introduction in corporate finance right the the ceos play with <coughs> sorry balance sheet right um, policies and all ethically to so better rosy kind of balance sheets right they usually do that i hope it's a little bit more clear to you uh then the point when we start so is it clear any question regarding article no sir oh then thank you arsena so uh, who was uh, was it salina uh, today's nominee for revision yeah salina yes, okay salina so um, i will be calling for roll call and then after roll call i'll hand over the floor to you okay sure sir okay perfect today there are a lot of absentees you know we are we are only 15 of us thing we can go to have we on lot of okay so let me to attendance of your okay alex okay orsana Okay, Osis present. Dipesh present. Ivan 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 Sreesta absent. Jeju Rai. Jeju uh, Rai. absent merina shrestha merina shrestha absent ninju thapa ninju present nisan 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 shrestha संतुष्ट एब्सेंट ओजस्वी सा ओजस्वी सा ओजस्वी एब्सेंट प्रकृति प्रेजेंट सर ओके प्रेजेंट प्रसन्न सा प्रेजेंट प्रवीण यस सर present raman raman shrestha and 
रमन श्रेष्ठ एब्सेंट रत्न प्रभा रत्न प्रभा एब्सेंट रेविशन रेविशन महर्जन रेविशन एब्सेंट रितीश कुमार प्रेजेंट सर प्रेजेंट रिवाज रिवाज प्रसाद जो एब्सेंट रोनिम राणा मगर रोनिम प्रेजेंट सचम सचम श्रेष्ठ सचम श्रेष्ठ एब्सेंट सलिना घिशिंग स्वरूप स्वरूप दौगोड़ा स्वरूप दौगोड़ा एब्सेंट उन्नीस गिरी उन्नीस प्रेजेंट ओके सो आई कॉल नेम ऑफ एब्सेंट इज इफ यू आर देयर प्लीज लेट मी नो इवन श्रेष्ठ इवन श्रेष्ठ एब्सेंट जेजुराय एब्सेंट जेजुराय एब्सेंट मेरीना श्रेष्ठ एब्सेंट मेरीना श्रेष्ठ एब्सेंट निशान श्रेष्ठ एब्सेंट ओजस्वी शाह एब्सेंट रमन श्रेष्ठ एब्सेंट रत्न प्रभा तामांग एब्सेंट रेविशन महर्जन एब्सेंट रेविशन महर्जन एब्सेंट नेक्स्ट रिवाज प्रसाद जो एब्सेंट सचम श्रेष्ठ एब्सेंट स्वरूप दौगोड़ा एब्सेंट आई थिंक दिस इज द आज तो एकदम धरजा आने भाई हिज स्पेन रो मैच थे रात कूरो कप लगे क्या इटली रेन को ओके सो इट माइट बी द इफेक्ट अफ इंक्रिजिंग एट एन इंक्रिजिंग दैट स्पेस राइट अल्ले सेवेन्टी पर्सेंट मत जो होने एटेन्डेन्स अर्चना यू आर नट अडिबल आई कैन नट हेयर यू प्रपरली Can you please fix your mic? Okay. So let us move on with the class. Okay, I'd like to request. Sorry, Isma, are you ready? No worry. Was it Salina? Not sorry, Isma. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Salina, are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, you are given one minute to five minute. You can take one minute or five minute according to your wish. and you can uh, reiterate uh, whatever we have learned in previous class or previous sessions uh, in your own words okay so i'd like to hand over the floor to salina for revision over to you salina thank you sir um good morning class um i will be revising what we went through our last class first of all we started our class with sir providing us a um, helpful link link such as a uh, website link to nepal rashtra bank for our future references um on the link we discussed briefly about few contents like foreign exchange weighted average interest rate current macroeconomic and financial situation we also viewed uh, the annual report of uh, nepal rashtra bank and then we moved on with the conceptual parts of capital budget we discussed topics like conclusions on capital budgeting methods decision criteria used in practice and profitability index 
we then uh, revised all the contents we covered so far in this particular chapter. And then Sir demonstrated us on how to solve solutions for capital budgeting, where we discussed some solutions and uh, learned how to calculate NPV, payback period, discounted payback period, profitability index, and accounting rate of return. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Salina. Wonderfully done. Big round of applause for Salina. Thank you. It was also meticulously provided. Wonderful job. So who do you want to nominate for next revision, Salina? Or who do you want to give the opportunity to? Oh, I would like to nominate Unis. Unis? Yes. Eunice. Eunice. Okay. So, Eunice, uh, are you ready? Do you accept the nomination, Eunice? Eunice, we are waiting for you. Okay. So let me write your name. So till now, Arjuna, Alex, Prakriti, Salina, and Unes. Five of you have done it. OK, so today, we are, as mentioned, we are going to start new chapter, Learning Outcome 4, Risk and Returns. OK, so the slide which I shared is uh, is more uh, is, is somewhat related with this chapter and it's very important for us to understand how much risk we are going to take in certain investment and if risk is higher right we have to ask for better returns simple as simple as that it, it there is uh, there is universal rule that if risk is high then return must be high anyway okay If risk is low, return would be generally low. And that is something we must understand. And that is all that is well-known theory all around the world. Now, risk and return introduction. Now, let, us, let me take you um, to US stock market. Uh, US stock market has seen more than uh, share ups and downs. Okay. And you can uh, see when the market went really up and when the market went really down. I would like to show you uh, the bull run and bear run of um, stock market so that you would understand how much risky or how much risk was uh, generally uh, included in that particular time so for an example in april 1993 the s p 500 index now i told you a little bit earlier index is nothing but a basket where you put shares now, if there is telecom index, then the, there you would find shares of NTC and Cell. Although NCL is not public, but you, if it, you, it would be public, then you will definitely find NTC and Cell, Smart Cell, right? And if CG also brings telecom, then that would be in the same basket. So likewise, there are 500 best companies in New York Stock Exchange, whose index is called S&P index, okay? 500 best companies in New York, whose index is called S&P index. Now that indexed points were 440 in April 1993. Now within seven years, for following seven years, it rose to 1516. How many times? Near four times. Near four times the original price within seven years, right? And then again, what happened in two years later? It the index collapsed to 700. Right? What? Because of 2001 terrorist attack. Now, our article in Economist was the time when bubble was bursting. Right? It further went down out of that November 9/11, uh, 9/11, 2001 terrorist attack. Then it took it took a lot of time. It took a lot of time. It took six years again for index to go to go back to double go, and reach to 1500. Now, again, 2008 recession happened at, at those time millions of people thousands of people died millions became homeless 
and um, it was havoc all around the world, right? At those times, the index was in 700 amid of 2008 recession. In 2017, index, S&P index reached to 2400, more than three times, more than three times now, the index grew. Now, one classic example, one classic example um, of um, increment of stock, right, is net, stock of Netflix. When Netflix um, stock was introduced, it was below six dollars in July 2009. Okay, it was below six dollars. Below six dollars. Netflix is something each one of you might use it nowadays, right, to watch movies, series, and it's popular it is popular all around the world right now it's one of the leading uh, streaming sites isn't it now um, people were skeptic about this growth so dollar uh, it stayed for dollar 6 in july 2009 now you can observe that netflix stock increased by more than 500% more than 500% $2.38 in July 2011. Within two years, within two years time frame, it rose to more than, it rose by 500%. That means that if you had, if you had invested 1 lakh rupees in Netflix in 2009, it would be 5 lakhs rupees, right? Not 6, 6 lakhs rupees, right? After two years. So one would be converted into six. Now you might ask, sir, we were discussing about required rate of return as 10%, 15%, right? But here we can see return is more than 250%. So how can it be possible? It is definitely possible. Why? Because the risk is high, right? The risk of Netflix stock was really high. People were not uh, ready to accept the fact that Netflix might go that much up. So higher the risk, higher the return. If you want return of 10%, 15%, you, it might be available with less riskier options. But if you want to invest, <coughs> sorry, if you want to invest in high, uh, if you want to earn money in short period of time, you have to take more risk like Netflix stock. Now, moving on, Netflix clicked. Then in 2012, again, it plumped, uh, you know, it collapsed to $8 in 2012 it was the bubble burst bursting time all the stock exchange was going down netflix also went down and it was the right time please note whenever it when the stock collapses it is the right time to buy you might have heard name of uh, guessing like what is the richest uh, person's name who Kulman, not yeah, not Kulman guessing. Says Gali, sorry, says Gali, yeah, says Gali was the person. Yeah, you can uh, see his history, you can uh, see his interview, you will understand that. Says Gali is the person who invested hugely in 2008 recession. This was the time when he invested his all the money, most of the money, I would say. Uh, it's not quantified. He, he has not published the document, but he told us, uh, he told in uh, certain interviews that in this recession, at those times, he took the risk. There was the risk that the stock might go further down, but he understood that um, the market is undervalued, it's collapsed. I can buy stocks in low price, right? At the night time, when uh, the vegetable owner is about to go home, right? When the vegetable owner is about to go home, you might find that window of one or two hours where you can go and buy vegetable at more than, uh, less than 50% price or may in just 25% of the price, right? That is one of the trick you can do. Uh, maybe potato or, um, or, or uh, those, um, um, perishable products you cannot uh, no, non-perishable product you cannot find but some of the stocks which uh, that person might want to uh, get rid of or sell it that person might vegetable owner might give you in low price at that particular time so for the stock 2008 recession was a classic case and at that point at that point it would 
it would only there was high chance it would rise and he was buying stock at wonderful price because one thing uh, one universal theory is there one universal th theory is that what goes down comes around what goes around comes around right so what goes down it has to come up anyway so he knew that it the stock market is going to come up anyway so please observe that at 2012 i give you an example of cs gole because you could have been you could have you got an opportunity of investing in this share at august 2012 because its price decreased from 38 dollar to 8 dollars that was the perfect opportunity for you to make money maybe it's not necessary for you to buy in 8 dollar you could have buy in bought in 10 dollar or 12 dollar right now astonishingly in may 2012 netflix stock was trading in 156 now google the price of netflix right now please google the price of netflix right now you can see that netflix price today is more than it, it, it is around 533 dollars i i just i checked uh, netflix price yesterday it might change within one or two days but it's around 533 dollars so what if you would have invested 8 dollars and you would have got 533 dollars right interesting isn't it opportunities is everywhere opportunities are everywhere so one way to reduce risk is to invest in mutual fund so moving along one of the ways how you can reduce the risk of uh, investment is that one share you can buy of hydropower you can invest in land or real estate you can also invest in little bit of your portfolio maybe 10% to in 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 bitcoin or you can also invest in entrepreneurs given the fact that entrepreneurs might be risky or less risky according to that fact so you could diversify your investment right in share market in 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 land or real estate in entrepreneurship so likewise if you invest in diversified portfolio then your risk is definitely minimized so in terms of stock exchange Uh, right or in terms of your virtual investment you can invest in mutual funds now what is mutual fund eh, sorry what what are mutual funds mutual funds are the fund which has got expertise like maybe there are experts of share market maybe archana pravin dipesh ninju these are experts of the market now, what happens is that they will run a company right and they will name it mutual fund right mutual fund now what will what will mutual fund do mutual fund will invest in best companies or they will invest in high return worthy companies or they will be keep update to the market and they will try to gain as much as return from the market and they will distribute it to their mutual fund owners right it, it it's also called script owners right so if you have got uh, you can buy script of mutual fund like this so there are a lot of mutual fund floating around the market right so usually if you invest in mutual fund what happens they invest in different shares and they provide units as a, as to investors so you hold 100 units of mutual fund 200 units 1000 units of mutual fund and these mutual funds invest in share market they collect the money from you and you get unit from mutual fund right you give money to mutual fund mutual fund gives you units according to that unit you can uh, claim your dividend and that money mutual fund is going to invest in lot of sectors maybe share market maybe um, in lands but most of the cases they invest in financial assets is it clear okay thanks arjuna yeah within two days it rose to 41 dollars you know it was 533 when i was teaching uh, yeah, this to section 1 that means rise of how many dollars Eight dollars, right? Within two days, you could have found eight dollars. Very, very good. High risk stocks, you know. But I think it will still increase. Yeah, it might still increase. Why? Because maybe after this class, you know, like um, we can understand which companies go up, you know, by looking at the circle and behavior. After end of this class, I think. 20 to 30 percent of us might go to uh, go downstairs or uh, our guest room and watch Netflix, right? 
we might watch a series from the Netflix or whatever. It's stimulating, isn't it? So it will, its price will definitely rise. So you can invest, you know, if you feel that uh, price of Netflix might rise. Okay. It might be the future Apple, you know. So you might see videos in TikTok, YouTube, right? Like you bought car of Tesla in 2000, 2005 and it cost this much. And if you if you had invested uh, that worth of money in uh, rather than car in stocks of Tesla, then your money would be multiplied by 10 times, 20 times, that kind of videos you might see in TikTok and, and YouTube as well, YouTube's sorts. Market has become really volatile. Yes. Uh, I've heard about something. Uh, can I like talk about it? If it's not, if it's okay. Yeah, I I did not get yours. Right? Your audio is not um, audible. Clear. Okay. Let me type. Okay. So one way to reduce risk is. Um, you can you can invest in mutual fund you can invest in exchange trade funds etfs although etfs are not popular in nepal it's popular all around the in other other stock exchanges in foreign countries to track the overall market right and even broader concept is to invest in global assets right now i i showed you article of that uh, article of chinese company which was trying to invest in america right through american depository shares so they were raising funds in us isn't it so what you can do you can sit um, at uh, you can be at nepal and you can invest globally given the fact that you must pull few strings and then only it's possible but you definitely can do i have plenty of friends and um, we have account of stock market of india and few commodity markets of uk Right. So we are sitting here and we are trading there, trading uh, outside the country as well. So you also can do that today. If you want to invest in Netflix shares, like if Arjuna wants to invest or any of you, maybe Prasam, Saratna, Runim, anyone wants to invest in Netflix shares, right? They feel, they feel that 431 is 441 is undervalued. It will reach to 1000. Then they, you can invest. Maybe if you invest one lakh rupees, if it doubled, if it reached to 800, then one lakh would be converted into two lakhs rupees, right? So you will gain, uh, gain money or you will get returns like that. So you can invest in bonds, commodities and real estate all around the world. Any confusion, please let me know from this slide. Since it is introductory class, I'm taking uh, the class with a lot, uh, lot of ease and in slow paced manner so that you will understand the rules of risk and return. Any confusions in this slide? Uh, okay, I, I, I think silence is accepted. Okay. Okay, 541 was the price of Netflix. They say Instagram is about to change to a video app instead of photo. They're trying to mix Insta like TikTok. What do you think about it, it in financial perspective? Okay. Now you see, um, regarding financial perspective, uh, we have to first of all uh, analyze like how much market TikTok is taking. And um, now since uh, China and there is a huge trade war going on between China and US, even I heard the news that Joe Biden asked its investigation authorities to investigate uh, found this and and submit him the report within three months how coronavirus uh, came out along with the proof and if that happens we are going to see a lot of dispute between china and uh, us uh, there was a lot of lot of uh, packs going on uh, america has been encouraging a lot of other countries like japan and Australia and UK and these are forming alliances 
to defeat Chinese dominance over economy. So I'm not be surprised if uh, TikTok would, since TikTok is Chinese based, although it's in New York based, but founder is Chinese. So that way TikTok might um, feel the heat of this dispute. And given the fact that YouTube uh, sorts are also in the competition and market is huge, uh, maybe Instagram will not, um, for my, I, I have not heard the news, but Instagram might not um, take its photo sharing down because there, there are certain chat sites like Snapshot, Snapchat, I, I think it's Snapchat, right? Snapchat as well. So if Netflix might bring video sharing platform as well, right? As it has come to PC right now, you can, uh, you can use Instagram at your desktop as well. So they might bring amendment if given the fact that if they bring video, they will not eliminate at least photo sharing, I guess. But let's let's see, that is a risk which we have to think as an investor, right? Uh, I don't know how much the stock of Instagram is right now, on price of Instagram. But definitely if changes in innovation comes, the price increases. So, I think I have discussed a few things. I cannot concretely say you the plans of Instagram and how the market is. I don't know. I, I don't know the facts and statistics of how much is the market of TikTok, how much coverage is of um, Instagram. So we have to see that. We have to uh, do a little bit of R and D. Okay. So Arjuna, I hope uh, I touched few <laughs> queries here and there, but I cannot definitely say if I would have. If I had uh, known that for certainty, I would go and invest in Instagram, everything, everything in Instagram, right? So we have to come in reasonable as students. If we feel, right? Unes, is the price of Insta 354? Oh, wow. It's also, it's also huge, you know, 354. One one astonishing uh, astonishing highlight is that Instagram's price is lower than Netflix. But uh, people spend a lot of time in Netflix, right? So I think um, the economy has changed into attention game, like more attention you gain. It's streaming, no? So as it is streaming, uh, we uh, tend to be more... Uh, into Netflix than Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we we might say by by the price of Netflix and Instagram, maybe maybe Insta maybe Netflix is undervalued, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Instagram is also undervalued, and Netflix is also undervalued in their own way. So yeah, you can do your R&D, Arsana, now, because you have got a concrete, uh, like uh, one belief system, right? You are yeah. feeling that maybe, now you can go into research. Now you can see their papers, how it has rules uh, within uh, certain periods, right? And um, definitely it has to increase anyway. I also feel that within five years, within three, four years. I think like Google stocks are uh, one, one thousand dollars or something so uh, around there like not exactly as google but they can grow uh, up to 700 or 800 like they have that potential so uh, i yeah. guess let's do research yeah yeah okay we can do that so it's a peer comparison what orzana was trying to say like she was comparing one technology internet company to another right that is one kind of analysis we learned we can do that right so let's keep our finger crossed maybe we can invest in international stocks then we'll be more like we will start to understand international finances as well isn't it okay so let me move on to our next slide 
What was that? Was that the price of Google? Yes, Sekhar, were you telling something? Wow, 2020. But Google, you know, Google is, um, as they say that um, previously there used to be Julius Caesar who used to rule the world. Now Google is Julius Caesar of today's world, isn't it? Google, Apple, these these are few kingdoms we have all. And they dictate, dictate how we make decisions. They have huge influence in us. You might want to see those YouTube videos where uh, see these uh, CEOs of Google, they are interrogated like Sundar Pichai, Mark Zuckerberg, right? They ask brilliant questions, you know, like uh, special, uh, the most uh, controversial questions uh, they had to reply is about confidentiality and data breach, data, data breach, right? And these are interesting. Yesterday, uh, regarding the recent news, uh, it, would, it is big. Microsoft launched 2000 lab, uh, Microsoft launched Windows 11 and the most important most important move which Microsoft is taking is that now it is trying to become a platform open platform uh, it means that uh, it is trying to accept apps from app, apps from Android as well apps from Apple as well and if you buy a laptop of um, operating system of Microsoft Windows 11. Uh, you can open Android apps, you can open Apple apps. So they are taking this huge step in the market. So right, um, so this might be huge in terms of news. Uh, especially you can observe Microsoft stocks for a few days to see the up and down of its news. Okay, so maybe uh, the Windows 8 was total flop, Windows 10 was total hit. So let's see which path window 10 will follow. Okay. So in this chapter, we explore ideas in more detail and especially consider different types of risk. Now, these are all the risk, right? Whenever we are going to invest in certain stocks, we have to find exactly how much risk am I taking, isn't it? Uh, otherwise, it will be like um, Dhritarashtra, as they say, like you, you blindfolded person. You, you do not know now you you are inside the black room and you are investing the money right you you you, you don't say anything and you are investing money that way if investor doesn't know how much risk is he facing or how he is facing then there is a risk of losing all the investment right the benefit of diversification yes i definitely mentioned that if you diversify your portfolio then there is a risk that um, uh, there is a chances that you might not face risk in this case benefit of diversification please note this in terms of economy previously what used to happen was that uh, whenever certain certain sector used to feel the heat or used to feel the recession for example if travel company did not used to work what used to happen the owners uh, they, there are certain groups uh, of companies like uh, reliance tata in india likewise in nepal there are Saurabh Jyoti groups, right? And um, what are the other groups? Like uh, Dugard groups, right? And these groups, uh, they, they have invested in different sectors. So coronavirus has affected all the sectors, each and every sectors, apart from hydropower, I would say, right? And hydropower was not affected by coronavirus, but you can see that because of flood and a lot of adverse situations, now these are affected as well and insurance are not much affected by coronavirus apart from insurance and hydropowers all the sectors are severely hit by coronavirus now these owners could not they had diversified their business the diversification was amongst telecom business um like um, vehicle business right uh, they had vehicle showroom automobile business and then they had also food business right so one when one thing was affected they would generate profit out of others. That is advantage of diversification. But in coronavirus, apart from hydropower and life insurance or insurance, all the other sectors were hit. So it was huge, huge down, downgrading uh, to big companies as well in Nepal. Uh, the IT sector, the big billionaires like um, Elon Musk and these um, uh, Jeff Bezos who owned IT companies who would who definitely benefit from people staying at home 
they their wealth multiplied right so we have to see from economic perspective as well whenever we need to god's risk in return coronavirus was huge risk now shall i tell you another risk which is coming up the risk which is going to hit global market i would say two risk one is coronavirus third wave they are telling that delta wave is going to spread in united states and it will start from there and it will come to a our country right that is huge risk which is going to come second risk is uh, china and us trade war if it, china and us are going to go into trade war if it escalates there is high chance that we will as a as a country near china we are going to face the heat as well right so these are huge risk as well we have to keep that in mind moving on basic premise is that i have already discussed uh, investor like returns we like to have returns but we dislike risk we like to have returns and certainty right but there is no high returns without uncertainty so we have to have returns and we have to dislike returns uh, as they say that duduni gai ko what lati sonu parcha right so if you want to have high return you must face high risk isn't it so following points should be kept in mind uh, businesses uh, business assets are expected to produce cash flows i mentioned this regarding nepal's budget if you go and see nepal's budget nepal ko kasto cha sarkar le bhanda keri hajur ko 15 dekhi 20% matrai revenue eh, keri capital expenditure cha oil ko tyo bhanda kam cha hola oh, uh, we can ex- we can understand the problem of government because um, because of coronavirus they had to spend huge amount of money in oxygen and healthcare and all so uh, yeah um, uh, if they had invested more in infrastructure or assets because asset generate cash flow it is simple asset generate cash flow expenditure generates nothing expenditure generates experience right expenditure generates experience done and it's ended there is no value which is going to come in future but assets assets are going to generate revenue they are going to generate cash flows so please keep this in mind assets all business assets are expected to produce cash flows riskiness of assets are based on riskiness of cash flows please understand this if you are going to invest in certain stocks if you are going to invest in certain assets please note that if its cash flows are uncertain if its cash flows are not certain or if its cash flows uh, pattern is deviating sometimes it it is giving you a return of 10% sometimes 50% then again to 1% then again 40% then its risk is high right that assets risk is high so whether to invest in certain asset or not you have to go as that with seeing its inflow of cash flows we studied in time value of money right in initial times we have outflows but after a certain time we will start to have cash flows otherwise why would we in the first place accept project isn't it so investing in asset as well we have to gauge right we have to gauge how certain are these flows right how certain are these cash flows if we want to invest in netflix shares we have to see how much is the risk to see how much risk is in netflix shares we have to see how much dividend netflix is going to give us dividend are they giving dividend or not and you will be astonished to find that these companies most of these companies are in loss right they run in internet companies run in loss right because they have huge initial cost so uh, they do not have huge dividend giving tendencies but what do they have they have huge growth potential right so growth growth generally covers dividend as an investor you don't you want to have either growth either increment in your capital or you want to have your dividend back from that stock right so always make sure that you goes the riskiness if there is certainty of growth then riskiness might be low if there is there, uh, there are no certainties of growth and also dividend then those shares are no no moving on asset can be categorized as fixed assets and uh, sorry financial assets and real assets now again you can understand with the name itself real assets means like something which is real or something which you can touch or or kind of tangible kind of tangible assets trucks machines whole businesses 
but financial assets are something related to stock market something related to commodity market something related to uh, securities and bonds and scripts assets can be categorized as financial assets risk analysis is similar for all kind of assets but in practice difference in types of available data lead to procedures for stocks bonds and real assets what it means to say is that when we try to find real data we cannot find like uh, tomorrow you when you delve into practical life uh, you cannot you will not be given the question that today the share value of instagram is 433 your weighted average cost of capital is 8% please solve the answer how much you are going to gain you will not find that certain informations are only uh, available to you as an investor right and most of the times you can analyze data according to the information which you are available to you isn't it so according to those information you can your risk depends on those information if you don't know if you uh, if uh, certain things are not uh, available in the market right uh, for example if you are going to invest in any private company the data of private company are not made public or they are not available to you right unless you so um, unless you so interest to the company and company's management feel that you might invest in the company right so they may provide the data otherwise lot of uh, data is are restricted government restricted as well and they are confidential they are not provided to investors also uh, and some data is are not valid like in Nep in nepal i was telling you that nepal rashtra bank is only proper research company of our country there are no huge uh, legit research companies right so we are going to face a lot of problems in that right regarding data so if data uh, data are not available risk goes high if data are available risk might come down please note that as well third third point stock risk can be considered into two ways one stand alone single risk another is portfolio context let us give uh, let us give uh, let me give you one example if uh, prakriti invest in nobel bank only okay so case one is prakriti is investing in nobel bank only that is called stand alone single uh, single stock only one stock or only one risk or only one sector maybe she is investing in nobel bank nepal nepal bangladesh bank and himalayan bank if she is investing in these banks only that might be stand alone sector risk or single stock risk right so that is one kind of risk other kind of risk is that she has portfolio she is investing in aspc or an hydro power company she is a hydro power company one in one script of hydro power company one in one script of non life insurance nico insurance nil another life insurance maybe premier life insurance and she is also investing in trading shares like um himalayan distillery and a uh, manufacturing himalayan distillery and finally one in bank nobel bank so her portfolio she has a portfolio right whole range of portfolio so her risk should is uh portfolio risk not single stock risk right so given these two options we have different kind of risk so in portfolio stock risk concept it can be divided into two components in terms of that second scenario one was diversifiable risk and other was market risk isn't it so in terms of diversifiable risk uh let me show you one example of this practical example you can see that uh, i was uh, telling you between diversifiable risk and my market risk okay now diversifiable risk means something which is dependent on particular script market risk is something you cannot you don't have control over right everything is going down then your stock is also going down if everything is going up then your stock is also going up that risk is something you cannot control that is market risk and um, diversifiable risk means you can diversify your risk in case one when prakriti had only nobel bank shares she could have diversified the risk by investing in investing in where 
non life insurance right she would have invested in non life insurance now she has banking sector and non life insurance and she has diversified her risk her risk is reduced because she invested in non life so let me give you one example of market risk first now you see finance company is down yesterday by 0.07 percentage right 1.5 percent now you see that banking hydropower finance these all risk these all sectors right between these two development banks and finance these both are going down right and as market goes down like if finance companies index goes down or one company one big company of finance goes down all the companies of finance goes down that is uh, example of market risk okay uh, let me again state you if hydropower is going down by 1.73% that means that if one big script of hydropower is going down what happens all the hydropower companies is going down right and if nepse collapses by 20 point biggest example is that nepse is down by 5 points yesterday so if nepse goes down by 50 points or 60 points goes down by 50 or 60 points you can see all the script rate that means all script goes down you will find none you could have uh, seen that in yesterday's yesterday's market as well right at those times what happened was market went down by 10 points or 20 uh, 15 20 points when all the market was rate from a to g that is market risk so is it clear So one is diversifiable risk, another is market risk. Market risk, I showed you, if NIMSA is going to go down, all the shares are going to go down, right? That is something we cannot control. Next, diversifiable risk, we can control it by diversifying our, diversifying our portfolio. So any questions? Class, any questions? Sir? Yes. Sir, you companies like RBCL, honey, uh, which have RBCL, other RBCL, RBCL. Uh, yeah, it's RBCL. Um, any share price are like them day, right? Twenty two thousand, this to this to reach my book. So, I know I myself as bought it like 10 shares 22,000 okay. uh, you, like, what do you think okay so uh, very very interesting question interesting question Arsena. okay, okay so uh, according to Arsena, like um, the the price of raster bima let me share you my screen Okay. okay, you can see that price of Rashtra Bhima RBCL is 22,052, right? <laughs> and in 22,052, you can buy, I think, one th uh, how many? 100 shares of uh, Civil Bank. I think Civil Bank is a little bit more, 300 or something, right? Okay, so you could have invested in other value shares, right? You can, you could have got easily. 200 shares and 150 shares. So why to invest in Rashti Bima Company Limited? So uh, number one reason why the price of Rashti Bima Company Limited is high is that the size of pi of Rashti Bima Company is very very low. Okay, Arsena. So what is there is that the company valuation value companies number of shares are less than other companies, and its capital is really really low. If there is a pizza, right, or if there is a pie, and if it is divided to a lot of people, then the profit is same, but that profit is divided into a lot of other people, right? But if pie is big, right, the value of that pie, uh, small portion of pie is big, huge, isn't it? So that is one principal reason why its share price is uh, 22,052, right? And definitely it is a good company, otherwise 
there will not be uh, this much of price uh, value and price are not same i would say they are definitely not same but they uh, they run neck to neck so uh, why to invest in raster bima if you tell me then what happens is that usually uh, these uh, high price shares are highly volatile right and um, if you see from whole investment perspective if you uh, see from whole investment perspective maybe uh, the price doesn't seem as you know, seem as reasonable but if you see fluctuation you see huge kind of fluctuation in these shares okay so it doesn't uh, like if you have uh, amount of 2 lakhs rupees right you have to analyze whether it's profitable to invest in rashtra bima company or whether it is uh, profitable to invest in um, your uh, maybe civil bank or even hydropower or other sectors okay so how would you know that two factors one dividend what return cash flows you are going to get right now we studied right when we value any asset it is also an asset right it is your asset one how much uh, return raster bima is going to give let us see how much return raster bima gives us 300% share bonus one ever this is rbcl right rbcl 2052 now you can see that it gave bonus share of 114% right it, its bonus share is definitely high isn't it so if you go to its analysis you can see that in key ratios you can see that its net worth is 2158 right huge net worth isn't it its earning per share is also 135 and uh, pe ratio is 133 pe ratio is quite high uh, but return on equity is just 6% it's already overpriced so but maybe if it is going to go up in the bullish market you can buy it or if you are going to get this share and exit all right i think it is increasing because now we are coming to an end of financial period soon uh, the the this company is going to uh, declare bonus here they are going to they will definitely declare uh, uh, within pause or as ossos right we have to do further research about it right so it depends like you have to find uh, what is your required return how much risk is it to share in uh, in that right so your to answer to your question why the share price is high of rbcl because number of invest number of owners are low okay and the owners who are there they don't want to share shares oh exactly so ab oile 300% bonus dine bhanera halla cha bhane that is already insider trading and a public bhako chaina document ke tapai ko public aai sakeko chaina ani tei bhayera esto huncha aaj kal chai trend ke cha bhane halla chalauni pic yo picl ko chalo hai halla hai प्रिमियर इन्स्योरेन्स को निको इन्स्योरेन्स को चल्यो अनि अहिले अपर तामा गुसीको हल्ला चल्यो है हल्ला चलाउने बढाउने अनि पुगिसकेपछि जब चाहिँ बढ्न पर्ने तब चाहिँ घट्न थालेछ के सो जब जनरल पब्लिकलाई इन्फर्मेसन थाहा हुन्छ अनि शेयर मार्केटले खर्च के उल्टो भइरहेको छ आजकल अब त्यो हुन नि सक्छ न हुन सक्छ इट डिपेंड्स अन सोर्स हल्लाको भरमा लाग्नु भएन हामी एट लिस्ट यसो भन्ने हल्लाको भरमा लाग्ने भनेको चाहिँ पोर्टफोलियो में छुट्टन हो पोर्टफोलिओ को तीस पर्सेंट सेयर चाहे हल्ला को भर में लगने रिस्क हायर रिस्क वाला लिनी हल्ला भाई थर्टी पर्सेंट छुट्टा सेवेन्टी पर्सेंट स्ट्रंग सेयर्समें हाल् ब्लू चिपमें हाल् बिकज दे विल गिव डिविडेंड अ झन असार भैर है असार चल रखा बेस्ट ब्लू चिप में हाल जस्ट no like um, you have to calculate like uh, the amount of investment you are going to do tyo gare pachi cash flows kati auncha te nikalnu hai jasti yo bonus share ko bhayo ni 
bonus share ko valuation garda kheri market price ma value of bonus share 114 percent bhaye pani tapaile par value ma pauni ho jati vada share cha tesko bonus share auni ho cash dividend jun aun cha tapaiko par value ma auni market price ma auni haina tyo anchale exact kati paisa auncha tyo calculate garnu tapaiko required return kati ho jastai 10 percent cha bhane right so tapaiko 10 percent required return fulfill garda cha ki gardaina if it fulfills then hold your nlic if it doesn't fulfill find the share which will fulfill your required return or ab tapai you are ready to accept the risk 50% we seen jo bhanera tapai sochiranu bhako cha bhane you can do that as well you have plenty of stocks yahi nepal mai haina jun le 50% bhanda badi aba asti euta radhi jal vidyut bhanne thiyo hai ekdam escalate bhayo gurkha finance ekdam badi aayo price ekdam badeko shares haru bhayo tar risk pani badi thiyo ni ta haina risk pani ekdam happy thiyo so find your required return and invest accordingly and i always advise you to keep your stop loss i got this how many 20 percent of the book or fall the number so you should never grow weed and uh, never caught your money plant once again what we do we caught our money plant and we prematurely and we grow our wheat once again god they go you see our whole garden is over some of price on the now don't do that have your stop loss 20% 10% up much it 30% 40% like no according to the required return so that is the best way to invest thank you sir okay okay so quickly i'll run down uh, run you down through these uh, learning objectives so aba arko choti chai tapai har lai ami core content ma janchu explain uh, after learning this chapter we'll understand difference between uh, stand alone risk risk in portfolio context maile dherai kura chai कता 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 बड़ पोइंट्स डट पोइंट्स भनी सकते एंड व्हाट आल बी डुइंग इज कनेक्टिंग द डट एज वील मूव फरवर्ड हाई तो डिस्क्राइब हाउ रिस्क एवर्जन एफेक्ट स्टक रिक्वायर्ड रेट अफ रिटर्न हम रिक्वायर्ड रेट अफ रिटर्न चाहे रिस्क अनुसार फरक पर्न पर्यो हई बने इफ यू आर टेकिंग रिस्क अफ रिस्क अफ सेवेन्टी एटी पर्सेंट एंड यू आर ट्राइंग टू गेट रिटर्न आउट अफ आउट अफ इट एज एट एंड टेन पर्सेंट इट्स नट इट्स नट फेयर फर यू राइट So moving on, difference between diversifiable risk and market risk. Describe what the CAPM is and how it it can be used to estimate stock's rate of return. Discuss how changes in general stock and bond market could lead to changes in required rate of return. And discuss how changes in firms operations might lead to changes in required rate of return on the firms stock. So these are the learning objectives. Content ma you can uh, venture around. Hey, I mean start got some recent return trade off. I'm like going. स्टैंडर्ड ऑन रिस्क को बारे में डिटेल में क्याकुलेट कर सीएपीएम रिनेसनशिप बिटवीन रिस्क एंड रेट अफ रिटर्न वील क्याकुलेट दैट मुविंग ऑन बेटा एंड कैपम थ्योरी सीएपीएम सम कंक्लूडिंग फैक्ट्स ऑन इम्प्लिकेशन फर कर्पोरेट मैनेज मैनेजर्स इन्वेस्टर्स लीगल राइट एंड प्रिविलेज अफ कमन स्टक होल्डर्स यू इफ यू बाई वन स्टक अफ राष्ट्र बीमा कंपनी लिमिटेड व्हाट आर योर राइट्स टाइप अफ कमन स्टक व्हाट आर द काइंड अफ स्टक यू कैन बाई फ्रम मार्केट स्टक प्राइस Uh, price for the intrinsic value uh, whatever the value which is in the market and whatever the value which is uh, shown as a stock price those might be completely different like real worth of share real worth of share and value of the share in the market that might be different dividend discount model constant growth stocks value non constant growth stocks enterprise based valuation and preferred stocks so these are the things which we are going to discuss in the next class okay so i think we have come to an end of this class any confusion please let me know <sighs> any confusions and regarding your assessment let me check right now how many of you have submitted it i think six or seven of you have not submitted from section b okay 19 19 of you have submitted your uh, assessment and 26 out of 26 so i'll be grading your uh, grading your assessment within this sunday and i'll provide you marks in ilon itself i'll i'll also be grading your non graded assessment uh, in upcoming sunday okay so aba jajal le bujhaunu bhayena kati jana hununcha सात जना 
अब तब मक्स जीरो दिवस मैं नबुझा को कति मक्स दिन है एसेसमेंट में सो दिस इज वन अब एटा एसेसमेंट हम कम्प्लीट भेवल टू लर्निंग आउटकम टू री को अलग गिविंग एसेसमेंट पच्चीस हाई तो अर्क लर्निंग आउटकम सके Any confusion regarding assessment today's class? Please let me know. Then, if not, then I'll be ending this class. Uh, yes. Sir. Azur. Mm, so, uh, I like uh, uh, miss four questions from question number five because I had to submit it uh, on time, but I knew how to do it. But I could yeah. not finish it in, on time, so I submitted it just like that. Uh, is it uh, okay to resubmit, or is it okay to let it sit there just like that? No, now it's a cut off date. We have already touched the cut off date. Please let it be now. Whatever you have submitted, I'll evaluate it. Okay. 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 Sure. Okay. Just, just so everyone, ask. thank you, students. Yes. Yes, Arjun. Thank you, sir. Sir, okay. uh, do one thing. Uh, can you just Azur. stop the recording uh, before you leave? Because it will be very long recording if you don't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You continue on, Jao. Mo goy pachi pani. Yes, sir. Continue on. So it will record everything in between as well. Ani pachi ko pani map nagari sama it will record ke thei bolna. Thank you so much for that feedback. Abhi, you have been doing it for uh, section, ma'am. Oh, 